Comedian, actor, and reality television OG Tammy Roman was a breakout star for MTV's Real World, Los Angeles, where she commanded the stage as a force to be reckoned with. Around the time of the show's 1993 debut, she fell in love and married NBA basketball star Kenny Anderson, a nuptial that made her perfect for a new show that Shawnee O'Neill created with VH1, Basketball Wives. Roman was cast on the show for season two and remained with the series for six seasons, leaving after season eight. Her undeniable presence was also brought on to the spin-off Basketball Wives LA for two seasons, four and five, making it clear that she was not one to be played with. Most recently, on February 1st, years after leaving the show and establishing herself as a polished actor and social media influencer, the world was reminded that nobody really wanted it with Mount Vernon homegirl old basketball wives, clips started floating around social media, showing Roman snatching edges and handling some of her former castmates. Tammy vs. Kesha Nichols, 2012 In the epic episode in season 4 of this clash, the cast went on vacation in Tahiti, and while there, Roman told the other women about how she believed Nichols backstabbed her. Any B, ch that doesn't want to get it popping should keep their mouth closed, Roman is seen barking in one scene. The camera cuts to a scared Nichols, who later says, I don't want to fight with you. The situation was so nasty that Nichols fled, leaving her bag with Roman, who would not immediately return it. Nichols then went to the hotel officials and tried to get Roman arrested before leaving the island. After the episode aired, Nichols said in a blog, what I experienced was extremely difficult and emotional for me, as I'm sure it is for all victims of bullying. Unfortunately, I had to relive my personal experience by watching it happen on national television. Roman also used social media to share her thoughts about the altercation, apologizing for her conduct. I don't apologize for it to be accepted, that is ultimately the other person's right to accept or deny it. My only responsibility is to acknowledge a mistake was made and own up to it, she wrote on Facebook. I apologize to my family, my real friends, my business colleagues, and my project girl ladies for my recent behavior on BBW. I am not a bully, as depicted on the show, but I did make poor decisions in handling my differences with my castmate. I sincerely apologize to all of us and my castmate, who was on the receiving end of my wrath. Tammy Roman vs. DJ Duffy 2016. Roman and DJ Duffy were at odds during the fifth season for multiple episodes. The genesis of the beef seems to have started when Roman fired Duffy as the director of her daughter Jazz's music video BBW creator and producer Shawnee O'Neill Henderson and Roman have had their disputes, proving that the cat-eyed brawler will get fly with anyone. Recently, people have noticed that the mastermind behind the hit show is not cool with one of its biggest stars when she hung out with ladies from the original cast on Instagram with the caption, had four of my friends slash family in the house for the first time. That was so special to me. At Jackie Christie, at Jennifer Williams, at Evelyn Lozada, at Brooke Bailey Inc. Fans were quick to notice that Roman was missing. Many people believe that one reason why she was not at the impromptu photo shoot was because she talked about being betrayed by Henderson when she was in conflict with Nichols. According to Roman, she was asked to create drama, and then when she did, they hung her out to dry. Another clue that she and her former boss were not seeing eye to eye was her telling the world that she had no intention of returning to the show, saying, do not imply I'm coming back. Since leaving the show, Roman has not returned and turned over a new leaf. In 2018, she claimed that she would not be fighting on television anymore after her dust-up with Williams. There is good reason why she should not, as Roman's career as a content creator has taken off. In 2023 alone, she was in a few movies, Whatever It Takes, Girl in the Closet, and So Fly Christmas, and television shows, A La Carte and Truth Be Told. She starred in the productions and served as a producer in the films.